What's going on YouTube? W here, back with another RuneScape guide. Today we're going to be taking a look at Temporos, the fishing boss. So let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so let's talk about the boss's location real quick. In order to get to the boss, you'll need to take a boat over here, just out and inside the desert. Just south of the al Karid bank, right here, it's the ferry to the ruins of Anka. And the best way to get there is obviously just from Lumbridge and just running over real quick, running through the gate and then running south over here to the uh, to the ferry. I'm going to run there now if you want to see the path or you can just skip ahead in the video. Timestamps are down below, guys. Alright, so this is the ferry right here, guys. Just go ahead and board the boat right here, and it'll take you right over to the ruins of Anka. And then you'll be transported onto the dock right over here. And all you need to do is you can go ahead and run up on the ship to start the fight, and there's a bank over here to the south. But there's a couple of items you'll need before you start fighting the boss. Over here, you can also find them on the ship, but over here there's a harpoon you can grab, so you can go ahead and grab yourself a harpoon and a rope because you'll end up needing them for the boss fight. Uh, you can bank all of your items. If you have any angler's equipment, go ahead and bring your angler's equipment with you for the bonus fishing experience points. Uh, my armor, I'll be bringing along the spirit angler set, a dragon harpoon, and a mythical cape over here for just some sexy transmog, because I like how it looks with the set. Uh, I'll also be doing the boss on a mass world. You can do it solo, uh, with a group of friends, duo, trio, whatever you're really feeling. The My preferred mass world for Temporos is World 422, so let's go ahead and hop over there real quick. Alright, so we're going to turn on Entity Hider as well real quick, so we can just hide everybody and just focus on our guy so it doesn't get too distracting. Um, in my inventory, I do have a rope, a hammer, and two buckets of water with the spirit angler set that I have equipped with the full spirit anglers you do not actually need a rope to tether to the masts so I'm going to be dropping this but you guys will need one during the fight alrighty now that we're in you can come over here and grab yourself some buckets of water and fill them up at the water pump you can also grab a rope from this bin you can grab a hammer from this bin the hammers are used to repair the mast when it breaks from the storm and the ropes are used to tether your character from the storm when the waves come to prevent you from getting blown away and losing items. Uh, harpoons are here to help you fish and gather fish during the bossing event. So as soon as it starts though, once you have all your items, you're just going to run down to the beach and the fishing spots are over here. Let's go ahead and click on one and start fishing a little bit. Generally the best method is to fish eight fish and start cooking them immediately once the game starts and then this spot over here is the jumping fishing spot so you'll get two fish on a chance um, in your inventory every time you would normally gain one possibly so you get two here on room light it is highlighted in green uh, but it's got the jumping fish coming out of the pile so you can just go ahead and harpoon there and you'll start filling up your fish pretty quickly you cannot die here so that is a nice bonus. It is no stress. You will never take any damage. This blue on the screen right now is the wave coming. So I came up to this mast right here and tethered my character to the mast to prevent myself from getting blown away and losing any fish. Uh, I'm going to run up to this altar right here now and cook at the shrine and cook my harpoon fish because the cooked harpoon fish give you more points per game than the raw harpoon fish and the points are used to get more rewards from the reward pool. This is another one of the effects right here is the storm clouds. They'll come above you and swell and they're about to burst with lightning. You can wait just a little bit and then run away right before it strikes. Uh, to put out the fire, this is what the buckets of water are for. You can douse them with the bucket of water and it'll just put the fire out for you. Um, my bag was basically full, so I didn't need to stay there and keep fishing. I'm just going to go ahead and cook up my entire inventory now and then I'm going to run up to the boat over here and load the cannons. You can see some of them firing already. And load the cannons with my cooked harpoon fish, and you'll start seeing my points skyrocket up here at the top too. I'm at 340 right now, so you get 10 per every cooked fish. I think you get 5 or 10 as well for every fish that you catch. 
Um, you actually get points for surviving the waves and not getting hit too. You'll see I'm at 390. The wave comes, boom, I move to 400 points. So that's a nice little bonus as well. Uh, when you see the seaweed on it, like it just was there a second ago, you can actually repa repair the totems and the masts. It means they're broken, and that's what the hammer's for. All right, we're going to start loading this and start firing at Temporos. It is always best to load one cannon on the ship and not two because his energy will go down quicker. And when his energy goes down quicker, you won't get as many points that game. If you're going for experience, more kills per hour is always nice. And you also won't want to cook your harpoon fish if you're going for the best experience points per hour. Alright, so he has dropped down his energy to zero. So you can go ahead and run down to the dock and go ahead and pop your spec if you have it. You'll always want to save it for here to deal more damage to the boss. And as you deal damage to him as well, you'll gain a whole bunch of points for a loot rewards at the end from the rewards pool and his essence drains as his energy refills and if his essence drops to zero obviously he dies and if his energy refills before his essence goes down then you have to essentially rinse and repeat what we just did so we're gonna go fish some more cook some more fish and shoot some more fish out of these cannons over here while dodging the waves and putting out the fires, dodging lightning, and just, you know, doing the whole whole thing right there. But nothing you do here can ever damage you. So it's fantastic. You don't have to worry about it at all. Um, it's really nice beginning skilling boss, unlike Winter Tot, that can damage you. So a hardcore Iron Man, you know, you can die there. You can't fully AFK. You have to pay a little bit of attention. But you can fully AFK here, you know, and just kind of click some fish and then go over and shoot some stuff. So this is a really nice AFK, in my opinion, skilling boss-wise. Uh, should be a wave here soon, I feel like. Oh, look at that double fishing spot is also a huge bonus. So just going to start fishing while it's right here. And uh, there we go. There's the wave. I think we get one more fish in. Nice. But yeah, guys, it's basically all there is to the boss. It's not that complicated at all it is super easy and uh, you have a chance of getting the temporos pet which is super cool let's pull up the loot right now that you can get from the rewards pool and uh show you guys that right now so you can get spirit flakes okay and these spirit flakes are used to converting your anglers armor into spirit anglers they are also super cool in the fact that when fishing regular fish outside of this boss, like sharks or lobsters or anything like that, you have a chance to gather two fish instead of one. Um, you still only gain experience points for one, but it essentially doubles the gold per hour you can get from fishing, especially if you combine it with something like Rada's Blessing, which also increases the fish that you get. So it's always really nice. Um, you got the rewards caskets, and the rewards casket uh, pool that you get from them gives a whole bunch of alcables. A uh, decent amount of gold from them, too, and, like, money. I think I've made probably, like, 2 million gold from the caskets alone from looting the rewards pool. Uh, soaked pages are used to power the wa Tome of Water, which is also a drop from the boss, as you can see down here. And the Tome of Water increases the strength of your water spells just like the tome of fire from winter tot i feel a sneeze coming guys um sorry if i end up sneezing uh you also have the fish barrel in the tackle box the fish barrel is super nice because the fish barrel is essentially another inventory but just for your fish kind of like the log basket and wood cutting um, just let you AFK fishing longer and just get a whole bunch of sharks or swordfish, whatever you're going for, run to the bank and empty it. You can't pull them out of there, but you can store fish in there, so it makes it really nice. And look at that, Temporos is down. That was all there was to it, guys. So you can come up to here to the mate and right-click him and say you want to leave. And that's all there was to the boss fight. You can come over here to this spirit angler hanging around on the beach and take a net from him. And where the supplies are, this little cargo just floating in the water right here, is where you pick up all of your rewards from defeating the boss. Um, last round, I got 4,165 points, which came out to four reward permits with a total of 26. So I'll just go ahead and loot this 26 times real quick and just show you guys some of the loot that you can get from there. Uh, I've also killed Temporos 354 times. So 
decent amount. I have a good time. Adam's a nice AFK boss. But yeah, so all in total at Temporos, I have looted him 1,440 times currently for a total of 7.38 million gold. And, you know, it's not too bad at all. He's a decent money maker, nothing crazy. You know, you're not going to be buying a twisted bow from killing Temporos or anything like that. But it's also a good time. If I get a rewards casket, oh darn, I didn't. But somewhere down here, here I'll scroll down real quick. I've also got in... The caskets from Temporos, I've gotten 59 of them, and contained 1.21 million gold worth of loot in those. So, I mean, between that and the uh, standard pool, it's a decent money maker. Nothing, nothing to complain about, you know. So I hope you guys enjoy the boss and end up getting some kills in for the first time. Uh, that's all there is for the guide. Thank you for watching it. If you have any tips or tricks that I might have missed out, go ahead and say it down in the comments. I know everyone will appreciate the help. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Game on, my friends. I'll see you next time.